Hi, we're here with David Simfendorfer from uh, HP uh, to talk about their new data centre that's being built in Eastern Creek. Uh, they've committed $119 million to the initial build of the data centre, which will be completed by the end of this year. David, thanks for your time. It's a pleasure. Uh, first of all, could I ask you a little bit about the size of the facility? Yeah, the size, Brett, is um, roughly, well, we're, we're commencing build of uh, three shells, each of which can, uh, well, we'll have five cells, so there'll be two, two plus one cells. Each of the cells will be roughly about nine tennis courts. Um, so that's 2,220 uh, square metres of floor space in each of the cells. Wow, I mean, we've been waiting for some scale to come to Australia um, to offer cloud services and that kind of thing. Uh, this certainly sounds like it's got some of the scale. What are the kinds of services that you're going to offer from the facility? Well, you're right about um, cloud services. Um, and, and a large part of our focus is around cloud. But uh, we pro provide um, a wide scale and a very comprehensive portfolio from infrastructure um, technology outsourcing. That's not only data centre services, but also workplace services, networking services and security and, and uh, compliance and continuity services. Um, and then on top of that, this is of, of course uh, a foundational element for our applications work um, and our business process outsourcing. So it's foundational for all of that, whether that's um, uh, in terms of outsourcing or whether it's uh, delivered via cloud. Okay, and what was the attraction of Sydney and, and the Eastern Creek site in, uh, specifically? Well, Sydney, um, we're leveraging our, our existing investment um, in the Sydney Basin area. Um, and in terms of Eastern Creek, um, we were looking for uh, a site that provided us uh, not only the space, um, but the low risk in terms of you know, low, uh, you know, flood and the like, so it's a low risk site, as well as access to power and to telecommunications facilities. Yeah, we've seen a few data centres built in, in, in Eastern Creek that ob obviously the, the, uh, the telecommunications are fibres there. Yep. Um, what about power? Uh, is there uh, sufficient uh, substations available for this kind of build or with, with all the new data centres going in there, if, is there a, another substation being built to your knowledge? Um, there is a substation being built, um, but there is more than sufficient uh, capacity in that area. And that's part of the investigations that we made certain we, we undertook before we uh, committed to the site. Speaking of power, um, power and cooling, what are some of the uh, smarts you guys will be using? Is there any chance in a place as hot as Western Sydney for, for uh, free cooling or, or the like? Or what about um, tri-gen power, you know, generating some power on site? Um, I'm not going to comment too deeply on that. Um, but particularly we'll be looking at, uh, at hot oil containment um, and the, uh, the cooling technologies that we're employing are definitely state of the art. Um, as we move forward through our construction um, and uh, as, we, uh, as we move into the, um, uh, well as, as we um, commence operations there, um, we'll release further details. Okay and uh, speaking of state of the art, you, you guys mentioned that it's uh, a PUE of under 1.3 and also uh, that it could be active active with with other HP facilities in, in Sydney I, I assume um, so what should what should a, an existing HP customer who's in one of your other facilities do who, who do they approach um, to, to to look into perhaps migrating to this new facility well our existing customers we're proactively approaching each one of them um, and uh, and we're implementing a on a per customer basis a program to uh, to uh, relocate um, uh, according to the customer need into the new facility. As uh, we relocate, we're wanting to um, um, move through a transformational program. So it's not just a lift and shift that we're wanting to achieve. We're wanting our clients to be aware that this is an opportunity to, uh, to transform their IT environment into the next generation you know, uh, world to um, provide better service, more cost effective service to their customers in turn. And I guess, you know, in the past there was probably a lot more variety of equipment that were in your data centres that you were serving customers with when you were EDS. Um, now as HP, is there going to be a push to say, well, look, we can consolidate your stack down to a, a lot smaller footprint if you're using all HP? Um, obviously, we're wanting to... Um, to move customers onto HP equipment if they're not on HP uh, equipment today. That's, um, that's something that we'll be working through with, uh, with customers. Some customers will uh, engage with us in, in that. Um, some have their preferences, which we'll also you know, continue to accommodate. Uh, thanks, Dave, and we look forward to seeing the, uh, the finished facility.
Okay, thank you, Brett.